Hey, what's up guys, Boba Rail here, and today I've got a breakdown with all the current information on Isanzo's Caporetto expansion. So it's been a while since I've covered Isanzo content on the channel, but over the last few weeks we've been getting some gradual sneak peeks about the German faction leading up to the dev blog on November 4th, aka Italian Remembrance Day, which was the biggest info drop on the German faction so far. So with these dev vlogs we got a lot of screenshots focused on the guns, with some bits of the new map being showcased in the background. So the first image we got was the Guver 98, which is a pretty standard bolt action. Now with the focus of Caporetto's new faction, being the Germans, these teasers are going to be very familiar considering we've seen them all before in Verdun and Tannenberg. That being said, there's a new system for the game's gunplay in Isanzo, and most of these repeat guns already feel pretty different in comparison to past games. So with that, let's take a look at the next rifle, which is the Car 98 AZ. Once again, this is pretty self-explanatory being another bolt action, but it is a carbine which should make it a bit more agile than his full-length counterparts, which should help a lot in trench combat. After this, we have the Reich's Revolver, and something special of note with this is to reflect the fact that the factory ejection rod was often lost by soldiers using it on the front lines, the reload animation in-game uses a small stick to remove each round, which I think is a pretty cool little detail. So now that we've seen the revolver, let's move on to the next iconic pistol, which is of course the Luger. It wouldn't be a World War game without one of these bad boys, and this classic semi-auto looks better than ever in Nisanzo. Something I want to touch on a bit with this screenshot is that the Caporetto map seems to be leaning much more into the darker color palette and atmosphere than what we're used to with this game, which is pretty intriguing to me. All the existing maps have definitely been more in the realm of these hyper-saturated, sprawling landscapes, and while I think it's been very refreshing in comparison to previous World War I games, I figured it was only a matter of time before we'd return to the mud. And honestly, I'm really excited to see this traditional color palette with Isanzo's new high-fidelity textures and lighting. So now, getting into the real meat of it is this most recent dev blog. In this, we have the last two bolt-action rifles, those being the Guver 1888 Commission Rifle, which which is a full length rifle that will be able to equip a bayonet, as seen here in this screenshot with the boys. Once again, I think this is a fantastic display of how the devs have really stepped up their lighting and color grading since previous titles. And then the last weapon to look at for today is the Carabiner 1888, which is another carbine but it lacks the ability to attach a bayonet which will probably make me choose others over this one, but regardless, we'll have to wait and see what the differences in handling look like as a result of its reduced length. Generally, it's still an authentic World War I game, so many variations of bolt actions are to be expected. And then finally, to close out this dev blog, they left us with a little guessing game asking us what we think this is. And from about 10 minutes of light research, it looks to be one of the murder hole blocks used to line the defenses at Caporetto. I'm not sure if these have a specific name, but if they do and you guys know it, please let me know in the comments below. Now I should clarify, for this first expansion, we still don't have a concrete release date, but they stated they aim to release it by the end of 2022. So it's sometime within the next two months, and that's not too long of a wait. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.